Optijack, hello sir, Mr. Noodle. Woo, yes indeed. I don't know. It's been giving <laughs> It's been giving uh Chocobo issues lately too. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's a Twitch thing. I don't know if you guys are just doing something wrong. I have no idea um what's been going on with it lately the things but thank you so much for the 27 months love i appreciate you do you have somewhere you want your votes to go so i don't forget to do that later although to be honest with you i don't think your sub went through at all because i didn't get any notification of the sub like it's not even in the the history so i think it just didn't go through but you know what it's fun I trust you. SpongeBob 1? Okay, so the first SpongeBob game, <laughs> I'm guessing, is what you mean. Uh, Nickelodeon SpongeBob Globs of Doom, then. There you go. I'll put five votes on that. Optijag, you got some protein powder that also has a ton of calories, and bro, it is also nicely and actually tastes decent. Hell yeah. I had a peanut butter and oats, so it's around 3,600 calories and 50 grams of protein. <laughs> I'll be thick once again. My God. So you got some mass gainer. The stuff that I've been telling you to buy for the past, like, 10 years. There you go, love. Thank you for the 27 months. Numo I appreciate 519 you. just subscribed for 27 months. Now? Yes, now. <laughs> yeah, I've only been telling you to buy that shit for literally ever, dude. Well, yeah, maybe not, like, in 2020, but there have been plenty of years where you have been wanting to gain some mass and haven't been hydrate. gaining any mass, you know? So, anyways, hydrate. You got it, my guy. So, who's here? Uh, there's me, of course. I'm going to be the leader of the company. This is going to be uh, Stream Does... Uh, no, because I think my main company is called Stream Does Stuff. Um stream streams stuff <laughs> there we go perfect also hello to Lele uh, we're gonna have another person here I'm gonna have to like go through everyone but here's Optijack uh, apparently Optijack is a chick I don't remember making you a chick but maybe it just uses <laughs> yeah, I must have made you a chick dude Does it keep all of the skills and everything at least? It does. I don't remember. I don't remember doing that. Anyways, okay, I can change the name. Optijack. There we go. Uh this is totally what you look like. I don't really get into the to the like making up the character stuff that much, so it's all gonna be pretty basic stuff here. Um Doesn't get tired until energy is completely drained, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna resave you, I guess. Because, yeah. Kind of rude. Um, save. Load. So now if I load you, yeah, that loads properly. Okay. There we go. And then, should have just kept him as a woman? I mean, we could have. And then Lele's here, so we'll go ahead and include Lele in here. Hello to Lele. Uh, I think all of your stuff's fine. Okay. It, me, it, you! Look at you. And then, uh, Noodle's here. So, what do we want to make Mr. Noodle? Mr. Noodle. He can be feminine. Um, sure, all of this looks fine. I don't really like your hair color, but I guess it is what it is. <laughs> no, we can change your hair color, at least. If nothing else, we can change your hair color. Is it under head? No, it's a face hair. It's under hair. There you go. Um... Uh, oh god, um, obviously it's bright ass blue. No, where's like brownish tones? There you go, good enough, looks great. Eyebrows can be the same. Perfect, there's Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Wait, do you not like your eyebrows? All right, I don't know what Mr. Noodle should be, though, is the thing, because she doesn't really do, like, any of this stuff. So she's just going to be, like, a jack-of-all-trades person. Uh, she can she can have a watch. She's definitely silent but deadly. Uh, <laughs> and then 
Um, you do all the things. Yeah, that's you're just gonna be a little bit of everything. Um, you can be. You're not a tech person like at all. So you like skyscrapers. <laughs> you like being high up in the air. Perfect. Uh, why not? I'm not messing around with the uh, personality types and stuff. It looks like everyone's just generous and goofy by default. Um, I have no negatives. Wait, what? No, you have to have a negative. Um, I walk instead. I don't like cars. That's fair. I don't really care for cars in real life. Da -da -da. You're under the weather. Lele's forgetful. That's fine. Everybody can have a watch. You're a fast learner. Sounds good to me. Noodle. Okay. Looks good. Uh, any skills I want to change or anything? I know mine's fine because I screw with mine all the time. But I probably don't need two levels of hardware, honestly. It would be... It would just be more convenient, especially in the early game, to have, like, two stars of everything in the uh, design area um, and leader stuff. You know what? Multitasking gives you more benefits, so I'm just going to take multitasking instead. And then service, whatever. Uh, I don't plan on doing marketing, like, right away, so sure we'll do that why not that looks good okay resave myself switch to optijack i mean i am pretty forgetful i know dude you just said i'm depressed af bro you know it already <laughs> what do you want so noodle is probably gonna end up being a lot like optijack here optijack's mainly an artist again with the audio though well i guess he does do more music than he does other stuff that makes sense and then more or less even on everything else None of us are probably going to be leads, so I'm going to turn down our lead stuff. And honestly, none of us are really going to be service people. So I'm going to turn it on, not necessarily because that's like real life, but because it'll just improve our other skills more. So, yeah, and same thing with me, honestly. Turn down those. We don't need them. Um, same thing here. Turn down service skill. Okay leader oh for anybody who hasn't before seen this game we're just running a software company <laughs> that's that's what it is um uh, i don't know automation is would be nice but and or hardware what hardware design is that what you're saying a leader's no service, absolute chaos. That's fine. We'll we'll pay people to do those things for us. So I'm gonna give like everybody the multitasking thing. The points here, I don't really know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can also do hardware and different things too. But it, the main focus, I mean, the game's literally called Software Inc. So that's the main focus. Um, I think everybody that's here right now knows about this game. Two of you play it because of me, and Noodle has watched me play it endlessly um for quite a while so like yeah and then okay so leader multitasking is just too good to give up some multitasking the rest of it i don't really care about noodle you can have some multitask oh i should also pick your things we're just gonna like try to even these three out like really middle of the load i mean i guess you could like specialize in something else but nah screw all that multitasking and then uh boost team compatibility handle education i mean i guess we could like each be a leader of something if i gave us the hr levels because i mean i'll be honest i just don't really care about the well other stuff i do want to get into automation at some point because i've never tried the automation in the game but Specifically, the sequels, iterations, and frameworks, and post-release tasks. Like, the project management, I actually don't mind, like, managing my own products, but our projects. But after the game comes out, I don't want to deal with it anymore. I want the game to deal with it for me. <laughs> like, what's this game? Never heard of it. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, until 8 a.m. fucked up my sleep schedule something bad. <laughs> Bruh, I tried to get off so many times. But and, 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 uh, actually ended up being like 9 a.m. Because somebody just did not want to get off. I guess just turn off automation completely for me. Or for everybody. Because, again, boosting team compatibility is just really good. And then we'll take HR multitasking the other one. Okay. So that's that service. Um, handling extra support tickets is nice, I guess chance to fix bug we'll just have that that's fine good enough okay development okay so for art uh noodle can be booty with some audio oh perfect so we got like a nice even thing and then you have seven points and then we're not going to be doing hardware design much anytime soon so Noodle can specialize in audio programming. <laughs> and then audio design as well. Why not? Your girl's dead. I mean, that's true, but you're also blind. So does like 2D work really make any sense either? Like... <laughs> like... I don't think so, but whatever. Why do you have so much less? Oh, because I gave you, like, hardware. Remove the hardware. Um, who is this? Lele. Booty. Sounds fine. A little bit of hardware is good. We definitely want people with a little bit of hardware, at least. Does anybody have level 2 hardware design? Uh, I'll take level 2 hardware design, then. Just in case we have, like, a task that needs it. But there we go. I think that's everybody. That's good enough. I'm not going to stress over it too much. Save Mr. Noodle. Resave Lily. Resave you. And resave me, because why not? We're going to play on one day. I actually prefer playing with, like, two or three days. Uh, or two... I'm, four days is what I'm playing on my main game. But honestly, I think I'd probably shorten that down to, like, two. Is That's what I actually prefer doing. But it makes the game take much, much longer. So, oh, shit. I'm already spilling my drink on myself. It's going good. Because I have no idea how long I'm actually going to have to, like, play this or if we're ever going to pick it up again. It'd be nice to get a little bit farther into the game. So we're just going to have it on one day per month, which is the default for the game. Uh, difficulty stuff. I, we're probably just going to leave everything on default. Um, months to fight takeovers. So you can have takeovers of other companies. I thought you could. Nate, what's up, man? If you had been here a moment earlier, you could have been in the uh, game, but... I don't think we're going to change any of that stuff. All right, pick map. Uh, we're going to start in a garage because that's where all good companies start. And it'll save us a lot of money in the beginning. So stream stream stuff. Our first company. Let's go. All right. So this is this is our software company. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? So it's completely devoid of life. There's nobody here. There's a couple things we want to do. Our people... Uh, don't get stressed the same way that other people do. So we're going to make them work 10 hour days because why not? I love it at a plant. Okay. <laughs> just one single plant. That's all we need. We're not even going to put anything else in here. We're just going to have a single plant and then everybody's going to come and look at it and it's going to be a fantastic time. Uh, this building is very small, obviously. Um, how do I actually want to fit people in here? Uh, no. There we go. So there's three people on that side, and then I guess one person has to be on the other side here. There we go. Oh, shit. I fucked it up already. My bad. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Uh, everybody needs chairs. We only have 25000 to start out with. It should be fine. $2,000 chairs all around. Do we have a color? What's everybody's favorite colors that's in the game? Um, mine would be, like, purplish, and I'm gonna be in the middle here because I want to be in the middle-ish here. Lele wants to be pink. Uh, nice, like, soft pink color. Something like that. Light, light? Is that too light? It looks darker on the chair, probably because, like, it's so dark in here. Speaking of, while everybody gets their favorite colors out, um... 
we should probably get a light or two in here or we can get a we can get a floor lamp and a ceiling light somewhere i'm blind help oh god nope that's <laughs> I promise I've played this game a lot. I'm just an idiot, uh, so give me a moment here. That's not centered at all. Also, I'm losing my keys. Your username is around your favorite shade. Okay. Looks good to me. Dusty rose type of color for noodle. A dusty rose. So more red so something like that no it's pink well is this not pink this looks pink to me what's a dusty rose <laughs> this is <laughs> it's almost salmon colored so more like orangey like that I said I know in game. <laughs> you would have been in game or could have been in game, but you can only have four people in the game at it at the start. Um, and so I just picked myself and the three people that were here. I apologize, bud. We'll name the plan after you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should save these styles just so I have them in the future for everybody. There we go. All right. Speaking of plant, let's get a plant. Can I sneak it in between? If I like move you as far over as I can without like blocking the bathroom, with something like that, I should be able to sneak a plant in here too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Can I get them any closer together though? I actually kind of want them like not to be so far over. Oh yeah, dude. There we go. That's perfect. That plant gets all the light. We need a bookcase. Bookcases in the game increase people's uh, skills. If you click on the room, you can get the breakdown over here. So right now, because of the how pretty everything is, uh, you can see that here, the environment. They're getting a 25 mood boost and a plus 25 skill boost. That's from the bookcase. You also want a clock in every room because the clocks give... Uh, effectiveness upgrades can I no cannot put that over there and anyway that's fine we'll put it over here next to the vent somewhere uh, that's centered up with the tile that'll be good um I'm gonna get a rug just because rugs look nice I think oh that's like a square piece Where's like the actual rugs? Am I blind? There's the big one. Where's the round one though? There it is. Oh, I've accidentally favorited it. That's why it's not here. And that way everybody has something to rub their feet on whenever they get in here. Our people don't need to eat um, or use the bathroom <laughs> ever. So we don't need any of that stuff. They do, their energy can get low though. So it is nice for them to have like some coffee or something to help with energy requirements but we don't actually have any uh, space, so not gonna have any of that in here right now. We are going to hopefully stop hitting the C button to take us out of build mode, because I would love to put a couple pieces of acoustic paneling around here. I Usually I like to put them like in front of the desks, but can't really do that in this case. Uh, you can have a painting. Uh, who is this? I guess this is Noodle. Yeah, Noodle. Noodle, you can have a painting of a cat. Above your computer. Look at that. Beautiful. You got a tub of bacon grease? <laughs> what? Earlier's trying to get in my bucket of water. <laughs> okay. I see where the tub of bacon grease thing came from now. Anyway, let's get everybody computers. Um, we're in a garage and we're like a brand new company, right? So we're going to say these computers have seen like way too much sun exposure and they have begun to like yellow and get gross. 
So we're just going to yellow them up a little bit. And the keyboards, honestly, the keyboards can be... Why is that like pink by default? Anyways, they can be white. There we go. Beautiful. Save style. <laughs> you legit got a thing of rendered bacon grease to cook with? Hell yeah, dude. I like it. All right, that should be literally everything we need to get started. So let's go start the company. Um, so right now, after building our software studio up here in the, someone's garage, we only have eight grand uh, left, almost nine grand. So we need to do something to make some money. So we're gonna take a couple of contracts. Logistics applications tend to be my personal favorite and embedded systems because they require the least amount of uh, art. But since we're just starting, we're gonna take the ones that need like terrible quality, whatever those ones are. Um, because those ones you have to do the least amount of work on to get them in a state where people are happy with them. And our goal right now is to get our business reputation up and just make some money. So that's kind of what we're trying to do at the moment. We're just going to go ahead and fast forward things a little bit. Uh, by default, the two time speed is like 5x. I have it set or like 10x or 20x or something. I don't remember. I have it set to five because I kind of like to be able to see what's going on a little bit, especially in the one time or one day per month mode here because things go super quick in this mode. We're going to develop these little blue, blue lines. So that first screen was uh, how many iterations something has gone through in the design phase. You can do up to four complete iterations on something before you just can't go any farther with it. When you're doing contracts, uh, how many iterations you do directly relates to how or is one of many things I should say that relates to how good the final piece of software is whenever you turn it in, which then in turn relates to what rating you get. This blue line, now that we're in the alpha phase, is the minimum amount of code or art or whatever that we need to make to require or to meet the requirements for the contract. So we're gonna pass that by just a little bit and then we're going to uh, hit play. Oh yeah, 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 my bad. We need to assign computers since we gave everybody their own specific shit so this is optijack thank you for pointing that out my guy this is me this is <laughs> lily and this is noodle there we go and that actually brings up another thing that i forgot to do which was you can give every computer a tool to make them a little bit better at their job uh, I am mainly a programmer, so I'm going to take that there. Uh, Lily is mainly an artist, so she's going to get a drawing tablet. Optijack does a little bit of everything, but what was your, like, top skill, bro? You are mainly an artist as well, but we really don't need two artists at the get-go, and Lily, I believe, is a better artist. So I'm going to give you a calculator as well. And then Noodle is literally a jack of all trades. So she just gets the service inbox thing here. Like, the Noodle Center chair. I know everybody else, like, your in-game characters obviously like different colors than you guys do. That's all. It's fun. But there. Now everybody will sit at their actual individual chairs. Oh, one other thing I'm going to do because I hate micromanaging this stuff. I'm going to hire cleaning service and uh, IT support right off the get-go because I absolutely despise dealing with them. I just want them to deal with it all for me. So it costs us money, but we're going to make more than enough money to cover it. So it's whatever. <laughs> My damn neck is long, bro. You got that long neck. <laughs> Posture's the same in real life. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it, we could be nice and give our people somewhere to sit but it's fine they can just sit outside um in the rain and shit and it'll be good these contracts just needed to be like horrible and bad so even though we haven't fixed all the bugs for them i'm gonna turn them in and then you can see up here we had one outstanding one inadequate the inadequate one hurts a little bit that will lower our market recognition which in turn lowers the number of uh high value contracts that we get but whatever it's fine it's early game who cares we have very little to lose um all of these are mediocre, so I'm going to take one game asset one and one logistics application one. 
That way our artists have something to work on and then we have something to work on. These are mediocre, so I'm going to go for like one and a half iterations-ish right around there. Um, something like something like this should be good. Develop, yes. Develop, yes. And then let them go. Add it. Uh, we did way more than we needed to. That's fine. Art, one nice thing about game assets, art has no bugs to fix because it's art. So, like, <laughs> what bugs are you going to fix in your art, I guess? Uh, so that's nice, I guess. But other than that, they're not my favorite thing to do. Uh, what quality was this? Was it mediocre? Mediocre. Okay. That was extra iterations. It's fun. What if you're drawing bugs? I mean, that's fair. I can't really <laughs> argue with that. So you can see, based off of like the things that are coming off people's heads, you can tell kind of what they're working on currently. These circles and things means that everybody is doing art right now, which must mean that there's no bugs left to be found. Um, so we're just going to finish this one and turn it in. Outstanding quality. Beautiful. Love it. And then... What time is it? 13.10? Sure, we're going to grab the last contract. That's fine. Do we start it now? Yeah, we'll start it now. That's fine. The one other thing that isn't a bad idea to do is to set everybody's priorities for their uh, for their roles here. So me, for instance, I'm primarily a programmer. So I'm going to set everything else as secondary besides programming. That means if there is a programming task, I'll focus on that. Uh, OptiJack is mainly an artist, but again, Lili's a better artist, and right now we don't really need two people working on art right away, so I'm going to set him as a... What's Noodle's design skill? It's a little bit higher than OptiJack, so I'm going to set him as a programmer, primarily. And then Lili will be our primary artist, and Noodle will be our primary designer, even though everything is practically equal for, but whatever, it's fine. There we go. So that'll just help with how people split up their uh, jobs and whatnot. Remote, no bugs, so finish, yes. Outstanding, good. One nice thing about playing the game where like one day is equal to one month is just how quickly things go. Um, we're already back up to 65,000 after we turn this one in here. Remote, we will be even higher than that. There you go, there's no bugs left to find. So that's it. Satisfactory. That means it was like even. No bonus. No negative. Uh, but the downside is we are out of things to do. <laughs> so the rest of today is basically just kaput. We could start hmm, working on our own stuff already. But there is problems with that. We're... So if we, if we don't have a marketing team, we have to market... We'd have to let a publisher market stuff for us. If we let a publisher market stuff for us, that means we have a deadline on when we release stuff. Um, so we'd have to finish it in a certain amount of time. But obviously, 73000 Although none of our people need paid. I don't know. It's a hard one. What if a literal bug crawls onto the art? Then you squash it and it becomes part of the art. You just go splat and then whatever design it makes, you know, it's natural. Just made me shit at every You are not shit at everything, man. You're good at art. That's not fixing a bug. That's making the bug into a feature. Um, <laughs> anyways, you're not shit at everything. You're actually a highly skilled artist. We just don't need two artists right now. Or in the early game, you really don't need two artists. Um, later on, I'll make you an artist. You primarily focus on audio art, where Lele fo primarily focuses on 2D art. That's all. Uh, but yeah, we're out of contracts. Normally, what I would try to do is get, like, a receptionist in here somewhere so that we can start taking deals. And honestly, we're making enough money that I'm going to go ahead and lease this second room here for $960 a month. And then our receptionist is going to be in here. So they're going to have to walk through this room to get to the receptionist, basically. But whatever. What having a receptionist does is it'll give us the ability to get deals. And then we can use those deals to make buttloads of money um, for practically nothing. Uh, I didn't like where I had that. So I'm going to period. Turn this around. And audit. 
you know what? I guess you should be on like this side of the room actually. That makes more sense. You can be like here-ish. That's not quite centered and it's gonna bug me. V, that'll be good enough. And then we need some waiting chairs for people. I'm just gonna change our grid size to quarter. That way we can center things a little bit better. There we go. Beautiful, love it. Um, this room, we still want it to look decent. Can we squeeze in any of these plants or anything anywhere? Not really. That's fine, I guess. We can put a carpet in here for sure though. Beautiful, love it. Uh, I guess we could change the design of the carpet so it's at least Excuse me, game. There we go. So it's a little bit different than the other one. Uh, there's already lights in here, I think. No? Okay. I guess not. Let's put a light in here. Go right above there. We can put some art on the walls. We don't want our reception area to look like absolute garbage. Can you still not center it even on the quarter? Okay. Right there. Beautiful. Uh, we can put a plant, like, in the side of the room over here. Oh, I had it offset by half, that's why. Uh, giving people a bookshelf. They'll never actually use it, but I'll give them one anyways. Oh, you know what? Move. Move you over to here. And then control C. Here. And then that'll be a computer. And then we'll put the clock in between. Symmetry. I like it. That. I, well, I know I can only place furniture where I own. I'm trying to place it in here. Ah, game. All right, whatever. It's going to have to be good enough because it's not, not letting me move it anywhere I like. Can I move the clock down? No. Damn you, game. All right, whatever. It's good enough, I guess. And then... I do like having a bookshelf in here. It just feels like it would give them something to read, you know? They'll never actually use it in this sort of room, but it still feels good to me. I guess right here is fine. Just like move it back a little bit. Beautiful. Okay. But anyways, now that we have that, that means that we also need to go into manage staff and we also have to pay a receptionist. It's 2,500 a month, but it's fine. Hopefully we get some deals that will make us some money at this whole layout and space. <laughs> play your own game and do it. That's fine. I know you own this game. What's wrong with it? It is beautiful. You can't actually add any walls or anything until you build your own building though. So you're limited to whatever, like whatever you're given. You can only decorate. Uh, manufacturing, no deals, 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 deals. Well, one thing I could do here, the hardware manufacturing. Where is deals? Here we go. So I wanna filter the deals. We only, right now we're gonna do design uh, IP we don't have any IP but we'll take it um, and that's it I don't want to do any of this other crap for people right now so people will still offer us other deals but the game just won't tell us about them unless they're one of those two so good stuff and then I can never remember where it's at well for one thing I do want insurance in case something bad happens we'll do that it's not under deals somewhere there's a button where we set our markup whenever we take manufacturing deals from people but bruh I cannot for the life of me figure out where it's at where is it? I've seen it before. <laughs> I know it's here. It's a thing. But Sims, I feel it. It's okay. Play your Sims, dude. Nothing wrong with that.
Man, I am like... It's not under like our company details, right? No. Hmm. This is gonna bug me. We could start working on our own digital distribution platform, but like, it doesn't really matter until much later in the game, so whatever. Rockstar person sound making yourself as a mermaid. Very cool. Mermaids are fun. Why can I not remember? Maybe the button's not like... Hey, OptiOS. Bro, I didn't even know you were playing with me right now. OptiJack. <laughs> All companies. I have to be an idiot. Not under taxes. Finances, no. It's my sabotage company, nice, I like it. One who's living off the grid, so no utilities at all. Nice. I do wanna play more of The Sims. Whenever the next Sims game or Paralife or whatever comes out, that's like my goal. It's just to have a family for every DLC, but it depends on like how many DLCs they make because yeah, obviously that can get ridiculous. Well, whatever, we can deal with employee benefits. Um, employees get $50 a month in pension, uh, $40 a month. They can have 40,000 in life insurance, 20,000 in hospitalization fees, Minimum of $96 a year raise. They can have 50% of their pay and severance. They get one month of vacation a year. Food is free. Vacations are paid at a... The default's 100%. We'll leave it 100%. Employees get a 25% bonus. They get their own car if they want it. And we probably won't have anybody work night shift. But if we do, they get an extra 20% an hour. Oh, company car color, obviously gonna be uh, the dark purple-ish color that I cannot find for some reason. Where is purple? That's like not bright enough or not saturated enough. There we go. Apply, beautiful, looks good. Um, Our waiting room is also where like staff will sit at which is kind of lame, but whatever. You own almost every current DLC? I know, but that's what I say. As long as they don't go crazy with it, which is one of the reasons why I'm super excited for Paralives, because Paralives, from what I have remember seeing about it, is supposed to be like a lot more reasonable with that stuff. What was that? <laughs> Did a body just like glitch out of existence over here? That was weird. Uh, I guess before our people actually get to work, we should probably start taking some contracts. What happened to our money? Deprecation? Minus 16,000? Wait, what? What deprecated? Oh, benefit. Oh, because we just gave everybody a car. Yeah, that works here. That's that's fair. So that's where 16 grand went. I was like, bro, why did we lose so much money all of a sudden? That would be why. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. But the uh, company car thing is like a one-time fee for people, so it's not that bad. All right, uh, now that we're level two market recognition, we're getting hardware deals. We do not have a way of making hardware for people right now. So we're just gonna click on type here and change this to be only software and that'll fix that. The sad part is we didn't get very many contracts. They are like better contracts, but still, these two are bad. We're gonna start with the two bad and then we'll see about starting the uh, two month game assets just because the money is very good with that one. These are both bad, so we're just gonna do one iteration of work and then we'll go from there. So there's our receptionist. You'll see every once in a while people will walk in and they'll go talk to her. Um, and that those people may or may not offer us some sort of deal that we can work on for them. So there's an example of somebody doing that now. Look at that. So what we're really hoping for is design deals. Design deals are basically free money, especially in the early game here. Uh, fix three bugs. Did we already write the code for that? Did I accidentally? Hmm, I don't know, whatever, finish. 
It was outstanding. Perfect. Okay. Love it. Good stuff. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and start the game asset one. What was it? It was mediocre. It's a two month project. So I'm probably going to go ahead and let two full design iterations, assuming it doesn't take too long. Okay. Five bugs. Good enough. Ship it. Outstanding quality. Love it. it is beautiful. We're doing great. The place is a mess. That's to be expected with all the foot traffic, but it's fine. Our cleaner will come in tomorrow and clean it all up, so. Bruh, OptiJack and I were playing this game last night for honestly way too long. And, uh, because it does have multiplayer mode, which is wow to me for this type of game. But his building, like, entire building just blew up <laughs> in flames. It was hilarious. I've never seen that happen in the game before. I knew that things could catch fire, but I've never actually seen a building catch fire before. So that was, that was wild. I loved it. Um, hopefully, obviously, that doesn't happen to us, but, <laughs> you know, tis what it is. All right, so we are in, like, no way not gonna finish this so i'm gonna go ahead and see what other contracts we have uh preferably one month bad we have a bunch of mediocre uh we're already working on a bunch of art stuff so let's take a logistics application or something 39.4 37.9 they pay close enough let's take this embedded system except and fast forward a little bit There we go. Get everything cleaned up, looking all spiffy. Love to see it. Now, just gotta wait for our people to come in now. Think you dumped gas and tossed a match on my office? Bro, I might have. Like, it blew up. It was, it was literally wild. It was really, really cool to watch. <laughs> That's mediocre. No, let's do, like, one and a half. Okay, develop. Yes. Fast forward a little bit. Perfect. Promote it. Fix a couple bugs. Okay, looks like everybody's working on other stuff now, so that should be good. Turn it in. Satisfactory, so that's like middle of the road. That's fine. I'll take it. Game assets are more than we need to do. We will finish. Turn it in. Outstanding quality. We got a bunch of money. We're already at 116,000. Things are going great. Let's take one of each, I guess. The game assets pay a lot more, so... Is it mediocre, though? It is. Okay. Let's take both of these. Aiming for one and a half design iterations. You can tell, like, we have better art design, or... I guess that's development. Eh, whatever. I thought we had... Uh... Oh, shit. That went way faster than I thought it was going to go. Just five bugs. Are we going to be able to fix any more? Six, good, good. And this is far enough for the game assets. It's fine. Finish, turn in, outstanding, beautiful. Love it. And we were able to finish this today. Might as well get as much as we can done in it because everybody's getting ready to leave anyways. And then promote and finish. Turn in early, outstanding quality. Love to see it. We're going to go up to about... Probably around July-ish, and then we're going to start trying to work on our own thing. And I'm trying to decide if I want to squeeze in a marketing team <laughs> or if I want a uh, big company to market for me. I'm probably just going to take a publisher, to be honest, and accept having a game or a deadline. All right, so now we're getting like four-month projects, three-month projects, etc., this one's, they want good quality, so I'm not going to take it. The three-month one, though, they want mediocre. Minimum progress is only 50%. We'll take that one. We can do that one. And then... Game assets. It's not much money, but for our artists, we'll go ahead and take the game asset one as well. And they're both mediocre, yeah. So I'm shooting for about one and a half on each. It would be cool, like, because corporate sabotage is a thing. It'd be cool if you could do stuff like that. Obviously, you can't. That's a bit extreme. But <laughs> if you could, like, 
I don't want to say burn other people's companies down, but essentially, yeah, if you could <laughs> if you could burn other people's companies down, that would be pretty sick. We're going to focus on this one here for a moment without taking any more. Switch that to development now. Okay, that's just about done. We don't have time to finish another one today anyway, so I'm just going to focus on finishing this one or getting as close as I can. All right, it's developed. We just need to fix some bugs tomorrow. Contract work. Uh, They still want good. I don't want good stuff. Two-month mediocre logistics ain't bad. We'll take this and we'll take the game assets one. We'll accept both of those. Now, we're... As you accept more things, it causes your people to get more stressed. The more things they're working on at the same time, the more stress they get. This is something you got to watch. But our people, the being all founders and only having three, I think they'll be fine with this. So we're going to go ahead and have them work on all three. Um, they're all mediocre. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Oh, never mind. This one's good. Uh, I did not notice that. Okay, we'll raise the priority of that one a little bit then. Because we need two-ish, honestly, maybe even two and a half iterations on the, the back delights game assets. So develop, yes. Develop, yes. And we'll just let all of these go for a bit. Close enough. Promote it. Finish it. Send. Outstanding quality. You love to see it. We're going to finish up the two that we have before we start up another one. But we should be able to finish both this month. Is it over the line? It's over the line. Promote it. Then fix some bugs in both. With these bigger applications, chances are we're not going to fi fix all of the bugs. But the more we fix, the less of a penalty we get. And the happier the... Uh, whatchamacallit will be. The, the person who gave us the contract will be. Everybody's stopping work for the day, so we're going to call these good. Outstanding. That was 97 grand. So we're up to 220. I'm trying to get to 250. So maybe one more month. Oh, shit. We got a deal. Designing for Raising Tricks 2016. So they will give us $21,000 a month to design this thing for them until February 1982. So that's going to be our supplemental income. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And we're going to turn down the priority all the way. So just by having this, they're going to give us $21,000 a month. We do want to like get as many iterations as possible in it before they take it from us, but we're never actually going to develop it. So we're just going to leave it sitting up there, collapse like that, and that'll be good. Um, we lost a bunch of money on something. What did we end up spending a bunch of money on last month? Oh, that's right. We have to pay dividends. So because we have four different people in it, um, I'm like the founder founder. So I cost nothing for us, right? But everybody else, they want a piece of the profits. So OptiJack, Lele, and Mr. Noodle, all three of them get paid dividends based on like how much of the the company i gave them i'm assuming like a quarter piece or whatever so we had to pay each one of them ten thousand dollars last month and that's why we lost so much money that was 30 grand right there it's based on like however much money we make for the month but honestly between the supplemental income we're getting there and the fact that dividends are paid off of how much money you make not how much money you have I'm pretty sure, um, then we should be good to go ahead and start developing our own thing. We're so close to getting this up to four stars. I guess we'll go ahead and just go until we get that up to four stars, actually. And then we're going to start developing our own thing. Um, probably like a 2D application or something like that. We don't technically have enough people for it, but it'll be fun. Um, anything bad quality? No, we have a bunch of mediocre... We will accept the game assets and logistics application. 
We'll accept both of those. Both mediocre. Shouldn't have any problem finishing them today slash this month. Promote. Uh, close enough. Develop. We do want at least satisfactory quality, though, because we uh, don't want our business reputation to go down since we are trying to get it, like, to mediocre. Or not to mediocre, to four stars. I'm just going to let them work on this until they start to leave. Promote. Finish. Yes. Outstanding. Beautiful. Love it. Yes. Outstanding. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, we're so close now, man. <laughs> okay, two more. Two more, and hopefully that'll be it. Three more mediocres. We can do all three. Except work. As long as we do well on those, we should be we should be good. On the four star goal. Develop. 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 Promote. Promote. Remote, beautiful, fix some bugs, guys. You have half a day to fix bugs. Hell yeah. Hell yeah is right. Honestly, though, like, how much did you guys get last month? $7,000 last month. And we hardly made any money. Like, it's not a bad deal for you guys. Satisfactory. Okay, that's a little scary. We didn't lose reputation, though. Outstanding, good. That'll build an outstanding cool. So, there you go. We're four, four and three quarters, which, again, almost makes me want to, like, go for another one. And honestly, like, the farther you go with that, the more lucrative the contracts get. Um, but, like, obviously, the better you have to do with the contracts, too. But right here, see? Half a million dollars for making some art assets in seven months that's not a bad deal man you could make a happy healthy living just working on contracts for the rest of your life with a small studio like this but we want to try and grow exponentially so we are going to design our own product we're definitely not going to start with an operating system um could do 2d editor could do audio tool could do something like office software antivirus I, antiviruses are super easy relative to like all things being equal they're super easy to make right office software is similar the other tools are a little bit harder to make the uh, 2d editors and the audio tools and then your os's are kind of like the hardest one to make and games need the most um diversification is kind of my view on it not necessarily correct but 2d editors and audio tools you can use in or you do use in making everything else because whenever you're making office software you need a 2d editor to design the elements of it right whenever you're making a game you need a audio editor to make the music for the game etc so i usually like to start with these two i usually start with 2d editor just because i don't know that's the one at the top and so that's just what i'm gonna do again here uh and then for the name of it it's gonna be it's a it's a it's an art or it's a fuck an art program right and uh you you have to like you know use your pen or your brush to to make strokes on a page so obviously it's going to be called stream strokes the same as what it's called in my personal game and that makes the most sense to me <laughs> and for the operating system it automatically put opti os in there for us we're gonna pick our own so the opti os 3 has the most active users at 1.3 million and three has the second most users at 500,000. And then they're also the two newest, so that's perfect. Do we have any other operating systems coming out soon, though? Because that's something that you should keep in mind. Um, Int 4 is coming out next in November. Um, I think we're just not going to worry about it. And we can port it to other systems later, of course. And then November of next year, there's another OS. So is November just like OS release time? Eh, whatever. We're just going to do these two for now. We're going to call that fine. 
Next page, if you click on analyze, it gives you what the current market trends are right now, or like market saturation, right? So right now there is a lot of really good drawing applications. There's a middle of the road uh, retouching applications, and then there's less design focused applications. But honestly, all three of them are really close, so we don't need to worry too much about it. But we can tell the marketing team, which in this case is gonna be a publisher, to focus on these things. Um, and that's what we're going to focus our features on as well. As well. Um, okay, tech's super early, so that's why we're getting the tech level minus 19.5% because it's only 1977. So having any features is just, you know, harder to do right now. But we're going to add them anyways. It just means things are going to take longer to make. And we want everything to kind of be even. There's no point in doing level two and level three stuff because it doesn't do anything for us right now. We're not going to need that much raw power with it. We don't have very many systems people. We mostly have 2D and 3D people, although I'm decent at it. Uh, let's see. We'll throw in like the drawing. Levels and curves for retouching. Do we have anything like purely design? We do. X rendering and clip art so design is done so we'll do image effects for more retouching look at that there we go and then brush presets for more drawing capability auto balance that we're at 100 percent expected interest and we're only doing like six percent more than what the market expects out of a program right so we're not wasting too much of our efforts while meeting the demands of everybody. Our market satisfaction isn't perfect as far as like what the trends are right now, but it'll be fine. We don't want to focus on that too much. Recommended programmers is six. We technically only have two. So the game thinks it's going to take us six years to make this. That is rough. We can squeeze in a couple more programmers. We do have to pay them a wage, of course. Um, now, our designer and artist can help. They're both decent programmers. So technically, we are at four programmers. But the recommended artist is three. Again, we can help. Other people can help with that. But it's going to take us a while. So it might not be a terrible idea to hire one or two more people sadly that means people are gonna have to like squeeze in it also means we have to fit a vending machine in here somewhere but that's most likely just what we're gonna have to do so we're going to minimize this design document for a moment and we are going to duplicate these desks um we'll duplicate the programming ones because i think we're gonna focus on having programmers here Oh, why won't you line up with everything else? Why do you suck at life? Okay, you know what? It's fine. We can get you squeezed in here somehow. It's fine. Just, there we go. Beautiful. That is not lined up. I, I refuse to accept that. Control-Z. Why is Control-Z not working? Excuse me? Game? Control-Z? Control. Uh, maybe because we're not in build mode. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. Uh, change this to quarter size, and then there we go. That should line it up with everybody else. Um, they can have generic yellow chairs for the people that aren't us. Can we fit? If we scoot all of the chairs down, we can fit one more person in here. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, not control C. We want to move furniture. Okay, for some reason that only moved the one. So I guess we have to move them one by one. That's dumb, but whatever. Now, one problem with having people packed in here like sardines is that noise levels are going to start to become a bit much. Um, so I am going to add dividers between everybody in the form of if I can find it cubicle walls
There you go. Uh, oh, also this chair should not be that color. There we go. And then I don't think it copies over like assignments for furniture, but just in case we're gonna assign those three, unassign those three. So now we have three or four spots for dedicated programmers, two spots for dedicated artists, and one spot for a dedicated designer, but people are gonna share responsibility for things, so it's more or less fun. Now, in our design document here, we want six programmers. We have two. So I think we want... We have three, so we're probably going to get a dedicated designer, a dedicated programmer, and a dedicated artist, but hopefully with secondary skill in programming for each one of them. With a focus on 2D stuff, because we have no, like, all of our stuff is 2D graphics based. We don't have any systems based stuff, um, besides the fact that, you know, we are including the system. Oh, sh I almost forgot that we do need to include a vending machine. Otherwise, people will get very upset with us. Uh, so that we don't have too much noise in the main room here, we are going to squeeze that over here into the office area or into the reception area, though. Uh, we should be able to squeeze it like the plant right here ish. There we go. Beautiful. It's going to be a little tight in here, but it'll be fine. And then vending machine right on that back wall. That way, we don't have all the noise of the vending machine leaking into here. And that should be good. We have all of the money coming in from this helping us out, so we don't need to worry too much about money, because this is giving us 20000 a month. So as long as our three new employees aren't costing us more than 20000 ish a month, then it'll be completely offset by that and if we get another deal we can always take it too so we are going to go ahead and hire hire employees we want we said what a dedicated designer programmer and artist is dedicated one of each the dedicated programmer and have a secondary in design medium salary so roughly 5,000 a month, so that'd be an extra 15-ish thousand. That's not too bad. How much is high cost people? Minimum of six and a half thousand a month. Let's go medium for now. Order by compatibility. Specialization, we want system people. We don't want anybody that is stressed. Big brain is really nice. Because people have no point limit in their main role. But it's not that big of a deal. We don't really want born leader either. Every tick that we put on here costs us more in the uh, hiring process, like searching for people. But other than that, it doesn't really change much. Do we want big brain? Whatever their specialization is, they'll get much better at it as time goes on. Fast learner is pretty decent too, because that means you can send them away for training. I think we're going to go with big brain. Modest is good because they just cost less. So we could do like modest and then high salary. Like that's an option to get more skilled people more early. But... Oh, and this is at 10 hours. That's right. Hold on. Um, at an eight hour shift because, well, we can force them to work nine hour shifts. They'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> so they'll be a little bit cheaper than this, than what it says here. I think we're going to go with this. Not independent. Uh, big brain. The fast learner, they get more education more quickly, but you do have to pay to send them to get educated and it takes them out of the office. So it's kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, big brain, not stressed, not a born leader. 2D specialization, higher. Compatibility, it's what we care about the most. Hypochondriac sucks because it means they're gonna call in sick more often. Uh, modest and big brain? Oh wait, did I search for both? 
Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to search for both, but uh, that's fine. We don't really need a hardware programmer right now. Sadly, both of these people are. Uh, I hate the hypochondriacs because they call in sick more often. That's a whole month that they're out of the office. So I guess we're going to take you. You won't be as helpful whenever we decide to make our audio tools, but what are you going to do? Yeah. Um. Super annoying. Why do you have to, well, what do we have down here? No art skill. You're not bad. Oh, man. We can always move you to a different team, I guess. Annette Hines, congratulations. You're hired. And then we need a designer that's seconds in programming, medium salary. Oh, no, I, I only have big brain. I don't have modest selected. Huh. I just got lucky with all of them being modest, I guess. <laughs> that's that's nice game. Thank you for that. Um 2D specialization again, designer, secondary programming, begin looking. Gwendolyn Forgetful. Forgetful's not terrible. But they do forget like their main thing, <laughs> which sucks. Um like their skills and then you have to send them to get trained again but it's not terrible again we're getting a lot of modest people which is cool booty editor is like your bread and butter you are under the weather weather which means you're depressed when it rains but that's fine you have no system skills which sucks but and you have all that hardware skill which is just useless to us But I think, I think that's probably who we're going to take. Because the fact that you're, oh, but your creativity is at most 69%. Do you have anybody that's more creative? Antivirus. Yeah, not really. Big brain, slow eater. You have hardware and 2D design. Oh, you demand a fixed rate. But your rate's six and a half thousand, so that's fine, whatever. I don't care. Your programming skills are great for what we need. Your design skills are kind of dumb. I'd much prefer if you had like some system design stuff. I think it's gonna have to be either Reggie. Which Reggie would come in handy later whenever we decide to make audio tools. So Reggie. Reggie Bailey, congratulations. You've been hired. And then we want one more person who is mainly an artist, secondary in programming, focusing on 2D art. Everything else is the same. Begin looking. Or by compatibility. We have anybody. You have level 3 2D art, which means you can do it quicker, which is really good. No system programming skill. One tick at everything else. And honestly, one tick is all people need right now. Um, where, 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 there you are. Joseph Copeland. No system programming skill. Which isn't the best, but <clears throat> not a huge deal. Again, everybody's modest. I don't know why it's giving us all modest people, but again, I'm not upset about it. That's pretty sick. Because they just cost less. <laughs> like... It sucks you can't do half of the programming tasks that we need. Or wait. No, we have no system stuff in this one besides, like, the baseline. So we should be able to handle that with the other people. Joseph Copeland. Or mistype or typo there. It's fine. Hire you. You're in. Thank you. So now if we open up our design document here again. And then we just update the core 
and development teams. There you go. Technically, we have one extra artist. Oh, wait, that's because we haven't managed them and their roles. You are primarily a programmer. You are primary designer, which means you're primarily an artist. Now, if we update this again, that's going to change things a little bit. Yeah. So we are technically under what they want us to be, but we have a lot of people that can pull double duty, so it should be fine. Now, if we... So printing is super easy to do. Honestly, no big deal. We can do the printing ourselves. Not worried about it. Funding just means they'll give us some money up front to do stuff, but then they take a higher royalty, so not going to do that. Operating system exclusivity means we are exclusive to whatever operating system they want, but... Excuse me, but they cut our royalty. It's only being cut by two and a half percent. Not worth it. Uh, we can make up that extra two and a half percent by just selling more copies to people. Printing is super easy to do ourselves, so we're gonna do it ourselves. I'm gonna set that already. I can't remember. Marketing though, you pretty much need a whole marketing team to be competitive with all the big companies. So we're gonna go ahead and let them do that for us. They're gonna give us two years to the day to uh, get this done. We shouldn't have a problem. It says approximately two years here. Um, and if we need to, we can, you know, hire more people or whatever to make it work. So we're going to say, okay, we will be obligated to release in 1982. That is fine. I forgot to just do one last check on everything here. I hate the weird price. We're going to change that to 75. We don't have a server of any kind to do that. We could use a framework to make things quicker, but if you use frames frameworks, then it costs you uh, royalties. <clears throat> we could make our own, but that's dumb. So, but yeah, I guess that's it. Publisher, give me marketing. Okay, 1982. Brain Racked Productions is going to publish for us, and that is going to be our top priority. So we're going to put that on level 10, and uh, now we're just kind of fast forwarding for a couple of months, honestly to see how things go. You can see our team here now. Very cool. Everybody here. I'm not gonna assign like all the other people to specific desks. They'll just kind of take whatever they want and need. So that's, that's fine. Sadly, the first day our new employees come in, a bunch of them are depressed because of being under the weather, but <laughs> you know, rain does that to people. It's fine, whatever. So let's see how much how much money did we lose that month? 57000 but a lot of that was in one-time fees, like cars and stuff like that. Actual salaries was 14000 We have 6000 in staff costs, so that's uh, 20000 And then a little bit in benefit costs, but 12000 of that 12120 was uh, cars, so whatever. Uh, construction and whatnot. Yeah, so we're looking at about 27000 to 37000 a month, something like that, in costs. Um, but a lot of that is going to be covered just by this, <clears throat> this uh, deal that we have made up here. So I'm not that worried about it. I think, I think we'll be fine. Actually, is it under the deals thing? I'm still bothered by not being able to set how much I charge people for manufacturing deals. Maybe I just can't see it because I don't have a manufacturing thing set up yet. That might be the reason why. I'm not sure. One other thing I want to do for vacations, they can take vacations whenever they want. I don't really care when they take them. That's fun. It'll just mean that they spread out their vacations more. In theory, you could set it up so like, you know, <clears throat> Whenever you plan on releasing stuff, you have less people going to vacation in case you need a crunch at the end or something. Hopefully not, but just in case. Oh, and look at that. We already have somebody that can be educated. Lily can be educated in design. We're currently in the middle of a design phase. I'd rather not lose her in the middle of that. Um, although she's more useful later on whenever we have to do more art stuff. Of course, there is art design that needs done. Screw it. Let's send her away to be educated. It's an education design point. Let's give you 2D. So you can be even better at 2D design. Or wait, yeah, at 2D design. Which means you'll be able to do it faster when you come back the month after next. Which is good stuff. 
I want to give ourselves about one year and six months at least. At least one year and three months, we'll say, of development time on it. So it's due out in, what, September? So we want to be... No later than... What? So June of 1981 is the absolute latest that we want to be working on the design phase of this. Honestly, I don't think we're going to struggle too much, though. I think we're going to get through all of the design iterations just fine. I'm hoping to do all four. Um, if we only get to three, then that'll be fine. It is what it is. Look at it. Look at it. All these people working on all this stuff. It's great. Hey, we got another deal. I am willing to take one more deal. This one's already on design iteration two. There's still 13 months left on it. 57,000 per month. You need a lot of level two stuff, but we have level two people. So that should be fine. September 1984, that's three years to get it in a decent place. And that would give us another 57,000. So that's like 78,000 a month. It is gonna mean we're gonna be a little bit slower on things, but we'll set it to a low priority. As long as people aren't getting stressed out, it's fine. Uh, so you're level one. We'll just put you one tick above Racing Tricks 2. And uh, yeah, cool. So now we're making, we should more than be paying for like everything just with our design deals now. We'll see whenever next month comes around, whether we're losing money or making money because currently we are losing money, but not a ton. Chocobo, what's up, man? Welcome. Yeah, currently we're losing about $8,000 a month. Um, and that was before we just accepted that $50,000 a month design deal. So we are actually going to be turning a profit now, I guess, which is wild. But yeah, most of the stuff everybody can work on. There are a few things here, level two stuff that less people will be able to work on. But it's still multiple people that can work on each one of those things. So I think it'll be fine. And I don't think anybody will be getting too stressed with just the three jobs. There you go. Yeah, so we're turning about $32,000 a month profit right now. So we are good to go, man. We can just focus on our little, our little 2D editor here, Stream Strokes, which actually, now that we know what year it's going to come out, this is going to be Stream Strokes 82. I just find it easier to... Uh, see like to track when things were released if i just put it in the name instead of going into like the project details or the software details or whatever so we're in march march april may june so june july august september no so july so we only have a couple months left to get this in a place we might not get all four design iterations which i was hoping for but we'll at least get three which should be more than enough honestly okay somebody's getting stressed here we're not even like halfway through the workday yet who is it it's reggie you are super stressed for no reason which means most likely means that they are working on too many things at one time can't really do much about that for you there reggie go take a break get some food or whatever make yourself feel a little bit better and uh deal with it i guess it sucks whenever people are stressed because stress does lower the effectiveness you can see reggie is only working at 0.14 percent speed right now so he's basically useless um but again there's not much i can do about that his break boosted him up a little bit but it just is what it is man Mr. Noodle has some training. Cool. Design training? She does. Let's make you into a level three audio designer because we are going to be moving into audio most likely after this. So you get to go to school. Have fun with that, Noodle. All right, Reggie. Seriously, what is your problem, dude? Why are you so stressed? I see your energy's a little bit low. 
but everybody's energy is a little bit low. It's the end of the work day. You're the only one. Or no, you're not working on anything either. What is your problem? Other than low energy, literally nothing. I had this problem last night too. I don't understand why some people are so stressed. The only thing I can think of is the number of tasks. Some people just must be like more susceptible to the number of tasks they're working at one time than others. Which sucks because that means those people basically aren't going to be doing anything for us. So we were fined for not filing taxes. Don't care. Uh, We're just going to eat that and move on with our life. Yeah, I don't think we're going to finish this final design iteration, but maybe we'll see. So we lost 25,000. Most of that was from bills, which the bills were taxes. 50,000 in taxes and then the fine for not filing taxes. So, Oh, somebody must have called in sick. Noodles at uh, training, so that's fine. Two more people are ready for training. Do I want to send away two more people right now? I mean, we have enough design on our stuff. We might as well. Educate. Um, we're almost done with the 2D design, and I know we're moving into audio design next, so I'm actually going to send us on to audio design school. It's not going to help us with this project, but it'll help us with the next project. So myself and OptiJack are going to go work on that. It worked! It did! Noodle had the same problem today as you. She, uh, when, when she resubbed, she tried to put like a nice message in or whatever and it just did not work it just said nope <laughs> so it's not just you at least if that helps at all you do have a tiny bit of a noise complaint how loud is it in here right now uh, so the noise is kind of focused around you but a lot of that is yourself. <laughs> yeah, because if we look like the base for the room is 10 decibels, right? That seems like, yeah, a room with nothing going on in it is 10 decibels. So if we look at this computer, where the chair is right here, 10 decibels, the one that has nobody at it. So you're just kind of a loud person, my guy. <laughs> like... 45, 35, yeah, it's really not. Yeah, you're at 46 decibels just by existing and using the toilet. So, holy shit, with the 25 votes, my Chocobo guy. Chocobo nice. Enthusiast just redeemed vote on a game X25. 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, all softer. Wait, why didn't the, what is that? Is that a rock? Why didn't it read that emoji out? That's weird. So it's three o'clock and you're just done working for the day. No rock, yeah, no rock. I mean, your energy's low. That's the only thing you can legitimately complain about. So if I go into build mode, this is gonna make things more loud, which is annoying. But if I go into build mode and then move the plant Okay, I really don't like it, but move the plant there. Uh, buy a table. I guess Noodle's gonna have to move over. Noodle is going to share a desk with a coffee pot. Unless, can I fit it in here somewhere? Because that would actually be preferable. If we move this over, Last stream for the week? Nope, we are going to stream a couple of more days, but I'm not gonna, probably going to, but I'm not going to promise anything, and we're gonna stream just whatever the hell I want for the birthday stuff, um, cause yeah, so. <laughs> I do plan on, I might stream tomorrow afternoon if I'm bored enough, more of this game probably if I do that. Sunday night, I have no plans, um, 
I might play Morrowind just because I've been enjoying playing Morrowind and I want to get through it. Or I might play something on the PS2 or maybe Skyrim. Maybe we'll play a little bit of Skyrim Sunday night. There you go. That's what we'll do. We'll pick up from my, my existing save and just screw around a bit in Skyrim. Um, And then Monday night... Or, yeah, no, Monday night is uh, my normal off night. I'm still probably going to play games with people. So, I don't know. Maybe a stream tomorrow afternoon, to be determined. Sunday night, for sure. Most likely Skyrim. Monday afternoon, again, maybe, maybe not. Tuesday, though, is when I'm leaving town. So, starting Tuesday, there won't be any more streams, for sure. Uh, until Friday night. Which, actually, Optijet, can you hear me, my guy? So can I, hold on, this will not fit back here anywhere, right? Wait, you will. I saw you flash green. Let's go. Okay. She should still be able to get around to there. That's fine. So then if we put the bookcase there, and then if we just shift this over a bit, like here-ish and then shift you over this is terrible this is like the worst waiting room ever how are you even supposed to get in that bookshelf but it's fine we might be able to fit in You are literally in that bookshelf. But okay, we can fit in the corner desk there now, which means that we can squeeze in. If we go to canteen, where's canteen at? Uh, here it is, canteen. We can squeeze in an espresso machine. <laughs> Monthly refill cost up to 2,400. Uh, I mean, the instant coffee, Quality also increases the environment. We'll get a standard coffee machine. It's half the cost, three quarters of the quality. You are still here? Okay. Are you willing next week to play Baldur's Gate on Friday? Because I will be gone Thursday. If not, that's fine. I get it, my guy. But if you are willing to play on uh, Friday, it would be much appreciated. There we go. So now people can get some coffee, which means that we can put Noodle back in the center there and move this plant back over next to Noodle's desk where I had it before. And again, we'll keep some of that noise out of here. Does mean our like reception area is super crowded, but whatever. Now people like you, who is running low on energy, can go and get coffee if you want. Hopefully that will increase your mood a bit. Probably not, though, sadly. Yeah, no, you're still just napping at your desk because you're garbage. Uh, whatever. Lele, you can get some more education. Again, our next project is going to be audio-based. And you're already maxed out on 2D, so we're going to send you to uh, sound school, music school. You're fine with Friday? Okay, thanks, my guy. Appreciate that, my man. One way we could help with uh, people being stressed out is also by just decreasing the amount of hours that they work in any given day um, to, you know, normal like eight hours. But right now I want to make sure Stream Strokes 82 gets out in a reasonable time and is good. So. And you're working a nine hour day. You get an hour lunch break and stuff still. Well, well I, I guess maybe not an hour lunch break, but you get a lunch break and stuff still. But you know what? Having people sitting around not doing anything really irritates me. So there you go. Eight to four. Or actually, I agree with what Optijack was saying last night. Nine to five sounds like a better shift. So Net Heinz is called in six. Surprise, surprise. So it's June. I think it's time to start developing. We didn't get a full four design iterations. But we got three and a quarter. That's not bad. We're going to switch this to develop. Yes. 
I had to decide if that's actually what I wanted to, what I wanted to do or not, but yes. Gonna switch that to develop, get people in here. They're gonna start writing code, making art, all of that stuff. We should have people here that are pretty good at doing everything. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff that needs no skill. Like the 2D, basic 2D graphics, the basic system stuff, the base, basic OS stuff. They don't need any skill, so literally anybody can work on that. And then these other things, you just need a little bit of skill. So we should have a fair bit of people working on that stuff. We, at the very least, want to complete, like get this to 100%. If we can, I would love to do a review of the product and then uh, iterate on it if we can but we want to try and save ourselves at least three months for bug fixes preferably like five or six months but we'll see what kind of time we have after we get it full the first time a couple people went on vacation that's fine enjoy your vacation hopefully you won't be so shit when you come back <laughs> we do have more design deals down here that we could take and uh i mean they pay pretty good but we already have people getting stressed out with just the three jobs they're working on so we're not going to make them do anything else. What I have in like my personal game that I've been playing. I have a uh, team of what I call interns. And that's all they do. Is uh, work on design deals. And it generates me like $120,000 a month or something like that. It's uh, It's insane. <clears throat> honestly this is going pretty fast thankfully i think we will maybe it always goes faster in the beginning because that's where like you know all this easier stuff is <clears throat> so we'll have to see how long it takes them to fill out the last little bit but we might actually have time to iterate on it if it's not already perfect which it probably won't be perfect the first time we have some more education lily lily can learn more about art <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, again, our next project is going to be audio. So we might as well teach you to do that. Although there's no audio needed for this at all. So do we want to just wait? System's kind of universal. Getting a point in that wouldn't be bad. Oh, wait, no, it's in art, not in design. I'm an idiot. Um, Let's just make you faster at 2D then. You forgot how to do 2D art. That's what happened. You were already a perfect artist. And then your damn brain forgot how to do it. So we have to retrain you on how to do art. So you get your speed boost back. All right. Well, that's fine. We'll train you to do that again. All right. Awesome. So... Once iteration three on this one finishes, if it finishes before it's due, probably won't. But if it did, you can pause that and that'll stop people from working on it entirely, which will help with their stress and stuff. But I want to get as much work done on that as possible because I want our uh, reputation to go up for doing that sort of work for people. So I'm going to leave it on pause for now, even if it does take a little bit of our dev time and uh, cost us a, a little bit of stress. Um, it's worth it to get our to get our stuff up. Lele is back. She now knows how to uh, do art again. Hopefully she hasn't forgotten how to do it already. No, she remembers. Good. <laughs> November. So, September is nice. Uh, so, at the very latest, we want to be done with the alpha phase by June, July. At the very latest. Um... Are we going to have time to iterate? You want a big pay raise, Reggie, Reggie, compared to everybody else. But you're already modest, so you're not getting paid as much as, like, comparable people in the field. So it's fine. I'll accept all. Everybody's about to get their, like, Christmas bonuses and stuff, too. So that's going to cost us some money, but it's fun. Reggie got a design point? We're not really worried about design right now. You are mainly a designer, so I guess it's a fine time to educate you. Let's get you a... Uh, let's change your specialization to 2D, I guess. I don't think it actually matters what we set here, but let's give you an audio point. 
because again next pro project most likely going to be audio focused what are we looking like bow gonna be cute bow cute look at bow <laughs> optijack you can have a point in 2d now yeah, because this is almost done let's give you a third point in audio programming for the next program gotta think ahead you know not bad i think you mean super cute what are you talking about not bad jesus never be happy huh oh you're on iteration four we did get you there okay so we're gonna pause you free up some stress and just make everything else go quicker not bad not bad hopefully they're okay with three design iterations the one problem with the deals is they don't really tell you much of anything like what they expect or anything like that so it makes things a bit harder but it is what it is uh lele this time you actually got like a legitimate point let's make you a better audio programmer and we'll continue on with our lives Int5 is an operating system, so we're, like, designing the next big OS, or hopefully big OS. Although, I wonder, like, if we do a shit job, I wonder if the uh, OS, when it comes out, would be garbage, you know? Like, I don't know, honestly, how that works, if it actually keeps track of that and cares about that or not. I have no idea, but... All right, it's January. We're not quite done with the alpha, but we can go ahead and get a review done on it anyways. That will give us an idea on what needs worked on, and if, if anything, and whether we should iterate on it. Um, nine out of 10, 9.7 out of 10, 9.2 out of 10. We can, do we have the time? If we iterate it, it could take it down as much as like 50%. The creativity isn't good, which sucks. We're losing a little bit because of bugs, but, you know, that's fine. Overall score is still 9.4 out of 10. I think we're going to play it safe, and since it's apparently a buggy piece of software, we're just going to let it go, and we're going to see, like, how many bugs we can get fixed. Were you one of the people that was getting, like, super stressed out and tired all the time? I'm just curious if those people are, high are happier now. Dishwashers all empty for me. Well, thanks, love. We're getting lots of deals. J Unit 2, that's another OS. I am tempted. Ooh. Ooh. 45 grand? They seem to pay base more off of how long the contract is for than they do the actual requirements. Like, this is a very simple requirement one. But it goes until October 1985. But they pay per month. Not, like, for the contract on completion or whatever. Just every month they send us $45,000 to work on designing this thing. Design deals are honestly just, like, broken. Um, That's a lot of money. We're not hurting for money, though. Although if we took it, we could, that one design contract could fund a whole nother team. So we could start like our audio team now between the 504,000 we have and the amount of money we're pulling in. I think, I think we're going to skip it for now. But once this project is done, assuming it sells anything, um, we're going to move to a bigger office and get a like new design team or a, a new team for 2d or audio stuff or whatever and then we'll start splitting people up based off their skills whether they're better 2d artists or designers or whatever question of the day if you were a superhero what would your embarrassing weakness be i have no idea <laughs> i was trying to think of one whenever i put the question in i just cannot think of one like a good one um I I don't know. Um 
Also, I just noticed a problem on my sheet here. Hold on. I'm just gonna... Nah, nah, nah. And then... Okay, the rest of it seems to be fine. Anyways, uh... What would your embarrassing weakness be? Pause this. Um... So, like, if you were Superman, what would your weakness be? And what would... <laughs> embarrassing one specifically. Like, say, every time you took off to fly, you shit yourself. You know? Like... <laughs> There you go. <laughs> that would be my embarrassing weakness, you know? My my tights would uh fill with gas every time I take off to fly, obviously. Uh because I'm scared of flying and the uh anxiety of that makes uh, my tummy get a little upset. So <laughs> that that would be my embarrassing weakness. That's <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, so that one design contract finished. Um, it doesn't tell us how well it did. How did you get a design point? Oh, I guess you're working on Int2 design. Uh, let's take system then, I guess. It's the last point that you get, but allergic to glass. <laughs> glass? Why glass of all things? That's a weird one, but it works. It works. So if we go to deals, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Where are, bro, how did I lose the deals tab? That's manufacturing. Um, <laughs> Deals, there we go. So we have a history here. Or no, we only have the active deals. That's incoming. There's like no way to see if they're happy with our previous deals or not? I mean, our deal, our market recognition is going up for completing deals. So presumably they're happy with the work we did, but it like doesn't tell us anything. It's in like every rescue scenario. Fair. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Imagine though, being allergic to glass. You're in like a burning building. And all of the, uh, like a skyscraper. And because of the, the, all the oxygen being pulled out of the room from the fire burning, all the glass implodes inwards. And <laughs> you're super, you're like resistance to bullets and stuff means you don't get cut or anything. Nothing like that. But as soon as the glass touches your skin, you just get covered in hives, falling to the floor, struggling to breathe. Yeah, that'd be pretty embarrassing. I get it. <laughs> I think we're going to take this game design job because we lost the one design job. So something to keep the money coming in. We'll lower the priority. We'll have it higher than int five though. I'm assuming we'll get another iteration in the next 30 months before it's done. So it'll be fine. And then that'll keep the money coming in. In fact, more money than what we were getting before because uh, it's a higher paying contract or deal than the other one was. And by having a variety of work for people to do, it means, like, they'll get more skill points and whatever they're supposed to be doing. Oh, God, I thought we... Oh, wait, no, we're in the, the beta phase, so we're good. We didn't file taxes, so we lost a bunch of money for that. We had to pay 102000 in taxes, and then we got fined twelve grand. But whatever, we're still sitting at $482,000, so we're fine. No worries here. Oh my god, and for like the first time ever, I think we have a full crew here. That's amazing. Oh wait, no. Oh, that was last month. Okay, that someone caught in sick. So yeah, we good. Fixing them bugs up. We're actually done early. We probably could have done a couple extra months of design and tried to get the full four iterations. But like we got good points on it either way. So I don't think we really need to worry about it. We could start designing our 2D application. Or our 2D audio application. But I think I'm just going to wait. Because I prefer having dedicated teams per application type. So. We're just going to wait. Going to release this product. See how well it does. 
and then start making our new teams. Reggie got some, was that programming points? Um, You're just a jack of all trades. You have no specialization right now. I'm gonna go ahead and give you that. Oh shit, you won. Congrats, man. You like never win. <laughs> This is, who is this? Is this Lele? Lele lost your point of system programming, it looks like. <laughs> of course you did. Um, go, go learn how to do that again, I guess. <laughs> the command list is so gross, man. <laughs> Holy shit, a heist. You forgot to uh, type how much you wanna, how much you wanna spend on the heist or bet on the heist, I guess. Because at the end of the day, it is just a bet. On It's a bet on whether you'll live or not. Like, <laughs> Wait, did it time out the command because you already used it, even though it didn't work? Oh, no, you didn't get to join it. Or you joined it at whatever the, the base amount is. <laughs> oh my god. Nope. Okay, you can't do max. What is it? It's uh it's all? There we go. <laughs> I'll join the treasure hunt with some money at least. So I the minimum's probably like one. Watch you survive, but get like nothing for it. Fixing a bunch of bugs. Coaster World Manager Ultra's design's going well. We got more deals. We're probably not going to take any right now, though. That would just stress people out. What kind of deals were they, though? Were they, like, really good? Mr. Noodle joined the heist. Nice. We haven't had a heist in a while. Feels good. Another game design, September of 1985. For 38 grand a month. Nah, we're going to stick with the two. I'd rather do good at them than to have them, like, get mad at us for doing it. Hey, we all survived. A Chocobo enthusiast gets no money because he <laughs> didn't put any money in. Good job, man. <laughs> uh. Okay, so next month, tomorrow, right now, release. Yes, your moral support for the crew, yeah. So let's get our review. How good is Stream Strokes 82? Nice, four out of five. Nobody knows who we are, that's fine. Great quality, just four out of five. Pretty much to be expected for our first thing. So since we didn't have our publisher do the printing for us, we have to do the printing for ourselves. I have no idea. We're on medium difficulty. I'm gonna say it's not gonna sell a ton. I'm gonna order 50,000 copies with the belief that that's gonna last us a while. We're gonna hit okay, go to the next day. Um, everybody's just going to be working on the design contracts that we have, basically. Might as well send somebody away for education. Uh, Joseph Copeland. You are going to learn how to do some 2D design work, I guess. Then let's see how many copies we sell tomorrow. Hydrate! Noodle 519 just redeemed hydrate. Almost, not quite. Just waiting for tomorrow or next month or whatever. I think you can actually release things a month early whenever you have a contract because it doesn't technically come out until like the next day or whatever. But your publisher doesn't care which one you do. Nice. Okay, so we sold 9,000-ish copies. We have 9,000 active users. 
Um, and if we go to our software here, we can see exactly how many we sold. So far, we've made no money on it. So far, we've lost $265,000. But last month, we sold $400,000 worth. So assuming we have another decent day, um, then we should be good. 96 people refunded it. So not too bad on the refunds. We're going to start getting bug reports in, though. So we need to make sure that our people are dealing with that. Now, we don't have any dedicated support people. So I'm going to see here. Okay, good. We are doing bug or taking bug reports, even though nobody is set as like a primary support person. That's important. Instantly, we want to update this to all the newest tech. And we also want to go to our releases and port it because I know at least one new operating system came out. Um, yeah, OptiOS 4 came out, has a lot of users. And actually, Int 4 came out a couple years, that came out a couple years ago, has a lot of users too. We might as well port it to both. That'll just increase the number of people that we can uh, sell to. So we're going to queue up both those jobs. Again, this is a lot of jobs, so people are going to start getting stressed. But it is what it is. Somebody went on vacation. That's fine. As soon as we move to the new building, which we're going to do very soon, I'm thinking January, um, we're going to start like spreading out stuff for people's, whatchamacallit, projects that the people are working on. Yeah, see, look how many bugs. There's a bunch of bugs here. And we're actually starting to miss, because we have 16,000 active users, we're actually starting to miss stuff. So we need dedicated support. Uh, we don't want to miss any bug reports. Hopefully it'll be fine. Joseph Copeland is only asking for the minimum. We're close to it. That's not bad. The other two are asking for more. But we're doing well. We'll accept all and close. That's fine. And I think we need to go to manage employees. Who has decent support skills, if anybody? I do. Well, the... All of the starting people do, of course. Mr. Noodle has great support skills. And Joseph has decent support skills. So we're going to select all of us, change roles, make us primary. No, we're going to have to do it one at a time or it's going to change like all their other stuff too. Lame, but whatever. Okay, put you on primary service for now. Uh, The two of us, change roles, primary service. Lily, change, work on, uh, that didn't take for some reason, service. And noodle change service. Okay. I don't want to miss any of these bug reports. Because that will greatly decrease like how much people care about our product. If we start missing them. I want to get through as many as possible. The update is finished on this. Importantly, it's just the actual bug fixes that we're not done with. So in January, I'm going to release the first bug fix. I guess December, whatever, right before January. Oh, well, time skipped, so that's fine. So finish that, uh, that will put that out. We're gonna wanna start another update on it instantly so that we can get more bug fixes in there. And then if we go here, there should have been a new OS, I think, that just came out, right? Or no, I guess not. Event calendar, maybe it was Audio tool, adventure antivirus, audio tool. There's a con, oh, maybe one of them was a console operating system, that's why. Okay, so we just wanna to port to those two. It is January, we have Buku dollars, um, 24,000 active users. We're doing pretty good. Our releases, 2D editor. We have, still have 18,000 in stock. So we probably don't need to order any more right now, but I think this is a great point to build a new building. or move to a new building. That's the other option. 
I do like building my own buildings because I can customize it a lot more. So, oh, seven, perfect. That's how many people I like to have in a room is seven. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? Move company. I mean, it is almost three o'clock. I guess we could just stay in this building for now. I really want to start on like the new stuff though. But I have a problem with this game. I could easily play this game until like four in the morning, but it is like time to get off. So I guess if we decide to continue playing this game at some point, then we can pick up from here with like a new um, building or whatever. Because we would spend the last 15 minutes and then some building the new building. It's just not worth it. So we're just going to focus on providing support and stuff for our current thing here. And, um, I mean, they're going to get stressed, though, if I start working on too many projects. That's the annoying part. Because I was like, we could go ahead and start our audio 2D tool. Or, or audio 2D. Our audio tool. And then, um, just have it, like swapping releases instead of whatever but between having to update and port things and then work on these and then provide support they're gonna start getting stress stressed do we do it anyways maybe we do it anyways yeah i think we do it anyways develop software i didn't want a marketing team though that's fine. Or I want a marketing team, I guess is what I was going to say. Audio tool. We got a lot of people with audio skill. Specifically, like, we've been training people for that, so that should be fine. This is obviously, um... Stream beats. <laughs> I don't remember what I had it called on my other... <laughs> on my main save, but stream beats will be fine. I don't know when it's going to come out yet, so I'm not going to give it a uh, year. Next page. It's going to run on OptiOS 4 and Int 4. And then if we want to, we can port it to other ones later. Yeah, those are the two top OSs by far, so that's fine. Next page. Oh, interesting. Okay. Composing and mixing are both like way up there, but recording is something we definitely want more of. So let's throw auto tune in. We're trying not to have any two star stuff, so if we can help it. Audio codex, that's perfect. That gets our like recording right up there. It's so now composing and mixing. That adds more recording. Oh, mini device input. That increases those two. And then... Sucks we don't have some that's just, like just composing and mixing. Do you have anything that's just mixing? This isn't too bad. 10% wasted interest, but it's not... It's fine. It does take more system stuff. We don't have very good like system people. Is there any like composing mixing thing up here? Not really. I think we're just gonna have to accept that that's gonna take a little longer. They do want more programmers, interestingly. Is it because of the different skills required? No. Hmm. I think it'll be fine. We don't have a publisher, so we can take as long as we want on it anyways, if we don't take one. Oh, I forgot to pick. We need a 2D editor. Of course, it's going to be Stream Strokes 82. I guess we have to wait until the update's done on that. All right. Get the Stream Strokes 82 update finish, please. There we go. Finish. Start another update instantly for the bugs. Open the design document back up. Now we should be able to use Stream Strokes 82 <clears throat> without any penalties. That all looks good. 
approximately two years. We'll figure that out. We're not going to take a publisher. I'm going to assume that we're moving to a new building with a marketing team before we finish this thing. So develop. Very complex and will take a long time to develop without adding any consumer interest. You should consider adding few or selecting fewer features. It's fine. It's only 10% wasted interest. We... I mean, I guess we're just going to watch for now and see if people get stressed. We want a focus on stream beats, but still have the main focus beyond supporting that. What's this? 19 months left. How is our stock? We only have, what, five uh, or 11,000 left in stock? But 40,000 stolen? Sold? Oh, 355 refunds. That must be where some of it comes from. Uh, we actually, we probably want to go ahead and order some more copies of it. I'm going to order another, uh, I mean, I have to assume that it's going to slow down the sales as time goes on. So we'll only order like 25,000 this time. That should last us at least a couple of months though. At least. Unless like it suddenly blows up for some reason in a good way. But it's unlikely. Education. We're working on 2D stuff now, so I will... Oh, wait. We also have a bunch of system stuff that needs done, though, huh? Let's give you some system stuff. How do, how are we as a group? In... Um, so, audio, we have three people that are three stars, two that are two stars. System, we only have one person that's three stars and two people that are two stars. So, yeah. We actually do want a couple more... Two, one two star system people we're doing pretty decent on audio okay, you know what lower down the priority of this actually for now let's try to get this port done and whatnot thankfully nobody seems to be getting stressed even though we have multiple different things going on so a that's good and as less bug reports come in, the people that we have like focusing on support now will spend less time doing the support before they switch to other jobs. So, so we can do like all the other stuff more quickly. A420 verified. Nice. Which is actually like the majority of them. All of those uh Things that we got in, the support requests, none of them had actual, like, bugs in it that were able to be verified. They were just, like, people calling and asking, how do you do this thing? So not bad. Oh. Oh, we didn't file a tax report. Yeah, whatever. We probably paid a lot in taxes. We probably also paid a lot in dividends the past couple of months. Yeah. 103000 150000 so, Lele Attack, Mr. Noodle, and Optijack are making roughly $35,000 a month right now for being co-founders of the company. So, good for them, I guess. I technically make no money, but I own the company, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. Education, Optijack, Educate. You got a point in... Development. Programming. Um, System. Yeah, we need more system programmers. More high-skilled system programmers. I think we can probably take Mr. Copeland here off of the service side of things. It's not very good at anything, though. So, honestly, it'd probably be better if I took... Who's our best designer? Is it Noodle? Yeah. Oh, she's also our best... She's also our best support person, though. Uh, Optijack is a good audio person. He's high skilled in audio design, and that's what we're working on right now. So Lele, you're being removed from support right now. We don't need as many people working support. We're keeping up with support just fine. Yeah, with plenty of time to spare. So if we ever do come back to this game, yeah, we're going to build our own building, hire a support team. Um, 
hire a marketing team and just deal with all that stuff ourselves see what we should be doing right now for stream beats we should be going to market announcing a release date um, and then starting on a press release and hyping it up so we don't lose followers but since we don't have a marketing team we just we can't do any of that right now but we're sitting on two mil after our first release so we're doing pretty decent I have 23,000 in stock no worries there and five is almost done with its third design iteration which is my personal goal for the uh, deals that we get at that point I'm willing to pause it I guess we could lower your priority all the way down as well I didn't realize you were on a level two we'll put you down to level or level three we'll put you down to two so people spend more time working on our own project and the third party stuff no more bugs for stream strokes we do probably want to just double check make sure there's no like actual updates that can be done there is the more updated stuff is the more people are likely to buy it i think <laughs> i don't actually know that but i believe updating the tech level makes them more likely to buy it if we're already done with like the second design iteration or with the first design iteration And if only we had a marketing team here. So you're getting stressed. I'm guessing it's probably the number of stuff that we're working on. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. Uh, do you have a reason for being stressed? No, everything is perfect. You like the room you work in. You like the people you work with. You're satisfied with your job. You're just stressed for some reason. It's <laughs> All right, Reggie. Sure, whatever. Um... <laughs> I hate people in this game. It's fine. Can we send you on education? Maybe that'll get you away for a little bit. And you won't be so... Bleh. Um, system or audio? Let's do... Let's do system. We've been focusing some people on system. And then educate... Things are going too well, it's suspicious. That's the thing about this game. It's not actually that hard as long as you just follow basic rules. It helps a lot that I started with four people too, honestly. It's harder when you start with one person because uh, your people, they don't get stressed at all. The only thing they do is lose energy. Um, Like they don't need to eat. They don't need to use the bathroom or any of that stuff. So that does make the game easier. But even like playing on medium, as long as you make sure that you let your stuff go through a couple of design iterations, two or three design iterations, you finish all of your code uh, and you don't screw up your contracts or whatever. Like it's, it's honestly a pretty easy game. I've never got into like the hardware design or anything like that. I imagine that'll probably make things harder, but, or at least like more complex, not necessarily harder. And then, of course, later on, you get into just managing a bunch of things. Like, in my main save, I guess that's what we could do real quick. Let's just save this. And then... I think this is the latest save of that other one. So this is my... <laughs> my personal save that I've been putting some time into. Um, so we have three floors in our building here, although currently I don't believe anybody, yeah, works on the third floor. It's just set up for expansion, but we have a bunch of teams here, right? On the first and second floors with like our own marketing team and all that stuff. But you can see like the complexity of the game comes in at just all of the stuff <laughs> that is being done <laughs> at one time. So just keeping track of everything is the where it comes like becomes a pain in the ass right because you have marketing uh, i have a marketing team so they're marketing all of my projects they're making new marketing materials for stuff that's not out yet they're hyping stuff that's been marketed already that way we don't lose too many followers then of course the support teams have to pro provide support for all of the different things we've come out with what is Stream Strokes? Stream Strokes is an art program, obviously. Like a stroke of a pen or the stroke of a, of a, uh, whatchamacallit, 
uh, a paintbrush or something. Stream sounds, that's what I call them. I like stream beats better. Um, and then making all of the new products because I have a dedicated team for strokes, for quest, for uh, sheets, which is the office program and stream OS. I'm starting, I haven't released one yet, but I'm starting to work on my own operating system, my own antivirus system. And then of course my, uh, to my sound system, uh, my sound editor, whatever you want to call it. And then I also, it's very basic, but I have my own printing warehouse to print products. Um, so all of my products are self printed instead of me having to like order copies at $2 a piece, I can just print them. And then I can also take manufacturing deals uh, and then like do stuff that way, which speaking of, don't want to meet the stroke team here. We can, uh, let's, uh, fast forward quest to buy it or die is losing followers quickly. Wait, am I not hyping that? Whatever. I'm not going to save here. So it doesn't matter, but why am I not hyping it? Quest two, buy it or die. Oh, uh, probably cause there's no marketing team here right now. Because I decided I hate having multiple shifts. You can technically have multiple shifts of people. And by having multiple shifts, uh, you can like st double up on the amount of work that you get out of stuff and then whatnot. But yeah, whatever. Gotta go. Take it easy, man. Where is the stream strokes team? I forget. Right here. There you go. Here's the stream strokes team. Gotta love them. Look at them all beating on their keyboards. Get rid of these things here. Just beating away at it. Doing a great job, too. What I'm curious about, where are... Because I have, like, Lele and Noodle and what... Or not Noodle, but I have Lele and whatnot in this one, too. So if I go to Manage Employees... There I am. I'm making video games. Currently not doing anything. Uh, same as the Dorseman. He's also not doing anything. Lele, not doing anything. Being lazy as hell. And Optijack, we're all on the uh, the game team, and none of us are doing anything. I must have that game, like, already done. Quest 2, oh wait, that's an expansion. Oh yeah, no, it's nothing but bug fixes, and all of the bugs must be fixed in it. So, <laughs> uh, so nobody has anything to do. Good stuff. It comes out in October, so it's, they have, like, half a year still. One thing I am considering doing... I have a QA team for, like, each individual group. Uh, this was my first save after not playing for years. So, like, this is what I've been using to learn kind of what I'm doing. So I think on my next save, what I'm going to do is have the dev team also be the QA team. Because if I have a dev team for each product, then I don't think doing the support, the porting, the development and whatnot, I, I don't think they'll get stressed with that number of tasks. I don't think. As long as they're only working on one thing, one new product at a time, I think they'll also be able to do the, the porting and, uh, and updates for it without too many issues. So that's kind of what I'm going to do in the future. Uh, probably not going to change this save that way because I already kind of have it set up or whatever. I could also have them work on add-ons for their own games. But not every product can do add-ons. Um, only, as far as I can tell, only Office. I imagine operating systems, although I haven't done any of them yet. And uh, games can have updates to their products. There's also... So with these manufacturing lines, there's also... Has to pee and can't find a toilet. Bruh. Open toilet. Open toilet. Open toilet. Open toilet. There's two open... Or there's open toilets on every single floor. What do you mean you can't find? A toilet. Are you stupid? Anyways, um... So yeah, no, that's, what was I saying? Manufacturing. So I haven't done any of the console manufacturing yet either, but console manufacturing and whatnot is also a thing that you can do. So when you go into the build tab here, furnish, distribution, um, there's the product printers, which is what I have. 
but there's also like component printers and assemblers and recyclers and whatnot. Um, I have no idea how this stuff works. I, I think it works the same as the product printers. It's just larger stuff like and more expensive. So I don't think it's going to be that complicated, but I haven't gotten into that at all yet. One of my next projects that I want to do with it and why I made a whole nother floor to the building here that's currently being unused other than people using the break room is because I do want to get a console uh, team together and stop me start making consoles and console operating systems and whatnot. But I haven't done that yet. So my massive parking lot over here as well. Double decker par parking lot. Everybody driving their uh, their stream strokes sedans or whatever. One thing I'm curious in for my my game with Optijack, can you change? Select people parking here. Select adjacent. Assign parking space. Yeah, you can assign it to staff. That's actually good. I was hoping for that because my save that I have going with him, I started my printing super early because I didn't want to micromanage things in my multiplayer game. Um, but I noticed that the cur couriers that you hire to pick up the, the products that will sit outside of the um, warehouses here, they need a parking space or they just won't do anything. So, yeah. I had to build like a bigger parking lot than what I wanted to. Do I own this parking lot? I don't even remember buying this parking lot, but apparently I own this one too. <laughs> so I own this double decker, triple decker, or no. Yeah, this double decker parking lot here. I own this parking lot next to the, to the warehouse. And then I own this parking lot over here. I have a lot of parking lots. Anyways, guys, it is after three o'clock. I think that's going to be it for Software Inc. for tonight. Uh, thank you for joining me while we played a little bit. I do appreciate it. I absolutely love this game. Could play it forever. Uh, it's addictive. A ton of fun. I might end up playing it after we get off even. But, <laughs> but anyways, that's besides the point. I'm going to hop off. I'll see you guys either maybe tomorrow afternoon for a surprise stream. Um, maybe not. Don't know. We'll see. But definitely Sunday for some Skyrim. Until then, guys, have a good night. Thank you for coming out. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. Vice, I'm listening, my guy. Lord knows I can use it. <laughs> the partner AI is jank of the highest order. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs>